what really causes an earthquake according hmm. to geology. Earthquakes occur by the thousands every day. They usually happen in the form of small tremors. Most are so small that humans can't feel them. 80% of earthquakes occur along the rim of the Pacific Ocean. The plates that make up the Earth's crust move around. These plates are called tectonic plates. They can push against each other, causing earthquakes. Most earthquakes occur at fault zones. Fault lines are fractures that allow the plates to move. Tectonic plates collide or slide against each other. These impacts are usually gradual. They are unnoticeable on the surface. However, immense stress can build up between plates. When it's released quickly, it sends massive vibrations. They are called seismic waves. They go through the rock and up to the surface. Other quakes occur when plates are stretched or squeezed. There are several different types of faults. Portions of the Earth's crust can move sideways. This causes a horizontal motion along a strike-slip fault. The most famous example is California's San Andreas Fault. It stretches 600 miles from California to San Francisco. Up and down motions occur over dip-slip faults. The ground above the fault zone drops or is pushed up. An example of a dip-slip fault is the Wasatch Fault. It stretches for 240 miles underneath Utah and Idaho. Some faults combine sideways with up and down motions. They are called oblique by seismologists. The fault in Santa Clara Valley is prone to oblique motions. The earthquake will be strongest at its epicenter. It's the point on the surface where the quake started. The effects are diminished as they spread further. Yeah. A magnitude rating is based on the power of seismic waves. A quake measuring 3 to 4.9 is considered minor or light. 5 to 6.9 is moderate to strong. 7 to 7.9 is major and 8 or more is great. Earthquakes are always followed by aftershocks. These are smaller quakes that strike after the main quake. They can continue for weeks or even up to years. Sometimes smaller quakes precede larger earthquakes. The strongest recorded earthquake was a magnitude 9.5 quake. It struck southern Chile in 1960. The Valdivia earthquake killed about 1,655 people. It left another 2 million homeless. It also triggered a tsunami that spread across the Pacific. It flooded coastlines in Japan, Hawaii, and New Zealand. On average, a magnitude 8 quake strikes every year. Some 10,000 people die in earthquakes annually. Collapsing buildings claim by far the majority of lives. Mudslides, fires, floods, or tsunamis may follow the quake. Smaller temblers occur in the days following an earthquake. They complicate rescue efforts and cause more destruction. 